Hello and welcome to a new video. I've done a video before showing how I get a sleek ponytail, but after coming across this new technique, which I like to call the castor oil method, I had to share it with y'all. All right. Let's get into it. I like to start off with freshly washed and detangled hair. When I have no product in my hair, it really allows the castor oil to seep in and gives me extra days that I could wear this hairstyle. I'm using a Denman brush to detangle my hair and I'm brushing it in the direction I want this hairstyle to be in. So if you want a side part, make sure you part your hair at this point so that styling the next day is easier. Once the detangling is done, I protect my ponytail and I do that by adding some product into it and I twist it or braid it. Even though it's not the main focus of this hairstyle, I still want it to be moisturized and protected. Then onto my favorite step, the step that makes this video what it is, adding castor oil into my hair. I'm using the one with eucalyptus only because that's all they had. Now, I pour a little of the castor oil on my edge brush and then begin brushing it in starting from my edges and and then working my way to the back of the bun. So as you can see, I'm making sure that all my hair is being coated with this castor oil. The thing I love about castor oil is that it has a type of fatty acid in it that moisturizes your scalp and leaves your hair feeling smooth and looking shiny. Because I plan on having my baby hairs laid for this hairstyle, I'm adding more of that castor oil and slightly doing my edges. It's still gonna move a bit overnight, but what this does is it makes my hair so much easier to work with the next day. Once I'm sure that my hair is completely covered with this castor oil, I go on to the next step of wrapping my hair. I start off with this styling strip because this strip really helps keep styles in place. And because there's oil involved, I know this strip will also pick up some of that oil and leave me with a more matte look in the morning. Once that first piece is secure, I go in with a second piece to make sure the top of my head is also covered. Then I just put my scarf on over it, making sure my bun is also covered and protected. And then it is time for sleep. All right, now it's time to take off the scarf. I literally felt it sliding all night, but... Okay. I'm just adding a little bit more castor oil to those pieces that are just kind of lifting up a bit. I don't want to add too much because I don't want this hair to look oily. And because the castor oil is thick, it allows me to still move my hair, you know, get it to how I want it to look, and also lays it flat because of the thickness and the, my hair's thinness, you know, they just kind of work together. And then I'm also going to begin baby hairing it up before I put this edge control in. This is not sponsored, okay? But I got this in a Kiss PR box. I didn't even know they made hair products, but this clearly, <laughs> clearly it's great. It gives you hold and it doesn't give you flakiness, okay? It gives you love, but it doesn't give you trust issues. And it also gives your hair this natural shine, not like an oiliness, but like, you see it? Here, here. So I'm just gonna continue putting this edge wax all over my hair, making sure my hair is exactly how I want it to look. And I follow my fingers with the edge brush because sometimes my fingers catch little pieces of that edge control that my brush kind of misses. I love this wax kiss, thank you. Send more <laughs> if you can. I love it. And the finesse of this baby hair right here is that I'm not really just grabbing my baby hairs, I'm kinda parting my hair with my baby hair. So it looks like I have more baby hair than I have baby hair. Now that all the gel is in, without untwisting my hair, all I do is undo my hair tie. I just take a bristle brush to make sure the hair that's around the hair tie is also looking sleek and put together. I put the hair tie back and that's how you get it super sleek. That's my tutorial. That castor oil process overnight eliminates so much of the extra uh, that just takes so much time and energy and then you have a headache, but you look cute and it's just like It's not ideal, but this this method is ideal I like to add tracks around the ponytail sometimes But you can easily just wrap that ponytail back around like that 
and go on about your day, okay? So that is my super sleek castor oil overnight sleek method. <laughs> Whatever you want to call it, but that's how I get my hair in this super sleek style without having to add pounds and pounds of gel. If you end up trying it, come back, comment down below, let us know how it worked for you. So yeah, that's how I do it. Thank you again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like this video, follow me on Instagram. I'll be dropping some heat on there. Okay, I gotta say so myself. I will see you in my next video. Peace. Out. to tuck me in a bed and she read me a story uh uh it's him mm she's so funny talking 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 all right that's my cue to go <laughs>